Welcome to the Razorback Rundown Coaches Show. As usual, I'm here. I'm joined here with Coach Ford. Today's Rundown Show will be sponsored by On a Hill Productions. On Hill Productions is a media company based out of Port Oklahoma. Make sure you contact them for any media or video needs that you may have. You can visit onahillproductions.com to see their work. Coach, thank you for being here today after a pretty good win Friday night against Porter, 155-8. to I um, would say effort all around was pretty good. How would you feel about the win Friday night? Uh, you know, you're always looking for a win, and, and we always – we always put that effort out there, hoping to win. I think that uh, the only thing better than a win on Friday is Saturday morning when you found one. So, yeah. it was a good, good week. Very good. I do. I think effort effort was very good all around from from uh, young kids to old kids. And um, you know, after after kind of let's say three week three weeks of playing good at times, playing playing bad at times, and then playing good at times, kind of an inconsistent playing. We really had a consistent game Friday night. What do you think the motivation? was to make us play well and uh, be consistent Friday night. I think the motivation was just a desire to to be good. I think that the team wants to do the right thing, wants to be good, wants to play well. And I think that that was just a culmination of a lot of effort from a lot of people. Right. And just a, we talked about it last week, you know, everything starts with a decision, yeah. that initial decision. Make that decision. I think a lot of them did and made the decision that they were going to play well last week. Yeah. And they, they did play well all around, I thought, from, from start to finish. It was very good. Uh, talk a little bit about the game. Um, you know, the first drive, we got the ball, and uh, we drove it really, really well. Um, just nice physical drive. And Caleb Brewer, I believe, finished off with a touchdown. And um, and then we kick off, and they return it back. And just like that, it's 8-8 eight to eight in the first quarter. Um, you know, How'd you keep? How'd you keep the team composed and locked in after a little bit of adversity right there on that kickoff? After a good kickoff return. Well, you know, we we talk about adversity a lot, and if you are who you think you are, you know, adversity shouldn't um, change that. Right. And when we talk about that with the kids, and I don't think that it did. We were going to go out there and we we're going to play hard again, figure it out. We kind of knew, and that was something we really hit on was, hey, if that's what it's going to take for them to keep up with us, they can't do that all night. Right. I think we ended up with 333 on the ground, another 127 right. in the air. Oh, those are good odds. Very good. I know um, after <clears throat> after that first kickoff return they had, we kickoff kind of kicked it into second gear as well, and special teams ended up being a big part of our game uh, in the game. And uh, uh, to talk a little bit about the young kids, I know um, with a with a score like 55 to eight, um, we got to play some young kids and get to see some young talent out there. Um, how do you think the young uh, young kids uh, represented Panama, and how how, uh, how well do you think they played? Uh, well, they they do a good job, and I always want to reward those guys with playing time. That's what everybody's after. Everybody wants to play. Everybody wants to win. Mm -hmm. And I think any time that you can get those guys out there and get them those meaningful reps, right. that it's just – it bodes well for your team in the future. I think they did a good job. I think that uh, you didn't see the big fall off from uh, at least knowledge base of, of what their jobs were. And that's, that's a big feather in their hat and a big pat on their back, paying attention – Learning the stuff and knowing what the job is when they go out there. Right, and I think um, you kind of mentioned earlier, offense had just a shy of 355 total. 350. You mentioned earlier, offense had about 350 total yards. Uh, you know, which which is very very good. And you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the linemen. Um, also, our our skilled guys played well as to, well too. Um, what do you think the success of our linemen? Uh, what do you think played into, played into the success of our line and, and our offense being successful? Well, I go back to, I think, just making that decision. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about that. and it, it just Everything starts with an initial decision. And I think that you saw some guys doing some things that were uncharacteristic of them, maybe in the first uh, couple of games in the season. And I felt like they kind of put it together, had a great week of practice, and we really kind of knocked some rough edges off as far as what responsibilities and what their – uh, rules were, and I think that it was a lot better because of that. Absolutely, absolutely. And one positive thing I know we can pull from this game, other than you know just playing good all around, was was our special teams. You know, other than the the kickoff return at the beginning, I believe our, our kicking game, kickoff game was 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 very good. Um, I know uh, Dalton Fox kicked some pretty good 
uh, footballs there deep and pinned them deep as well as we may have found us a PAT and, and field goal kicker. Can you talk a little bit about special teams? Yeah, you know, Dalton, he, he's kicked for us for a couple of years now. I think he even kicked uh, whenever he was in Little League. Uh, you know, he plays center for us. Right. Boy's got a big old ham hock for a leg, and yeah. he really put the toe behind it this last week. And uh, some stuff – was doing some stuff as far as kicking the ball distance right. that we haven't seen. Right. And and that sure helps. You know, anytime you can start the, the opposing team's offense, you know, further down the field, that helps your defense out, and it helps everybody. And then you go to, to – extra point and you know we've kind of struggled there over the last couple of years about finding somebody who's consistent who uh can kick that extra point and what a big part of the game that is and uh, young aaron siemens comes in has a rough one to start yeah. but then he starts just thumping them through and right. uh you know if you can do that, that that's those are those are good, easy points that you right. need. Absolutely. I know uh, special teams plays a very important part in all aspects of the game with that. So this week, Coach, we got a 1-0 in district looking to go 2-0 against a young, talented Tallahena team who is looking for their first win in district play. And so, Coach, I just kind of want to talk a little bit about plan of attack, uh, expectations for this week as we uh, open up or, or go to Tallahena and play our second game, uh, second district game against Tallahena. I think we're going to try to be physical. We're going to try to, uh, you know, kind of that one, two, three punch kind of thing like we have been. I think you'll see a couple of different guys run the ball. I think you'll uh, see some linemen do a great job, have another great week, and we've had a great week of practice. I think that uh, they're following their rules consistently. I think that you're going to see us just get after it again. Good. Good. I know watching film, you know, they're they're a scary team. I think they can, they can take over a game pretty quick, and I, I think we're going to have a uh, – Good, uh, good attack, Adam, to, to get uh, 2-0 in district play. Coach, kind of asked it last week, going to keep asking this probably every week, but um, again, how important it is to win a district games and keep winning district games? You know, you control your own fate, and if you can win enough district ball games, you put yourself in the driver's seat for that extra season, and, you know, that's what we're after is uh, finishing high in the district. We always want to win a district championship, right. put ourselves into a position in the playoffs to host a home game or two, and and make a new run on a brand new season. Awesome. Well, Coach, thank you for your time. Again, uh, just thank you for your time and, and speaking with us about last week and this upcoming week. Don't forget, tomorrow night, the Panama Razorbacks travel to Tallahena, 7 o'clock kickoff, looking for their second win in district. After this message from MontahillProductions.com, we'll have a special guest, our defensive coordinator, Jamie Magoo Armstrong. Stay around. Welcome back to the Razorback Rundown Coaches Show. Thank you to our sponsors, OnTheHillProductions.com. Please give them a call for all your video production needs. Well, I'm uh, joined here today with a special guest, our defensive coordinator, Coach Jamie Armstrong. Most of the guys uh, know him as Magoo, so I'll probably refer him to as Magoo if that's okay with you, no, Coach. That's fine, Coach. Awesome. It's, it's all good. Good. Um, cool thing about Magoo, I got to coach with him a couple years, and um, I've enjoyed a lot. Uh, being around him and learning football from him, and he has a great football mind, um, great, great nose for for what it takes to be successful. And I know one thing he really does, he loves the kids, and he wants the kids to be successful. So, Coach, thanks for joining us today and taking out uh, time of your day to be here. No, I'm glad to be here, Coach Payne. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I want to talk a little bit about defense. I know um, – um, you know, Panama has really shined defensively the past couple of weeks, uh, ever really since game one. We haven't given up much points defensively. And uh, my first question I want to ask is uh, to you, what is the key to, to a good defense? Man, I, honestly, I think that just uh, playing hard nose uh, a lot of times is is great key to defense. And, and, and doing your job, no matter what, that uh, if, if my guy does this, I do that. I, I, I've got to be disciplined. I've uh, – you gotta have a nose for the football at times, but uh, I think just overall it's effort. Right. Uh, about ninety nine percent of it is effort, to be honest, and uh, alignment too. Right. That's that's one thing that that I really stress. So right, and uh, being being on the uh, backstage of things a lot of the time, you know, we 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 I say we yeah. you we put in a lot of work behind yeah. scenes. I know um, I know personally I've seen Coach Magoo work hours and hours on the weekends away from his family 
just so we can be successful on Friday night. So, Coach, I want to ask you, how do you plan and uh, how do you execute the game plan each week and uh, how time-consuming is it when well, it comes down to that? you know, on weekends, you know, I try to – I try to set aside, you know, Saturday being time with my family, and you know, uh, sometimes that's hard to do, right. especially when you got a big game coming up. And uh, I think that um, it's important. But uh, as far as how we get prepared, uh, I study, uh, check their tendencies. I try to find what they're good at, and let's try to get them out of that to make them do stuff that they don't want to do that they're uncomfortable with right. because if you're comfortable with doing something when it comes down to nitty gritty you're going to try to do that so Absolutely. so what I try to do I try to game plan to stop what they're good at right. and make them do something totally different that they don't like doing awesome yeah and I know um Sundays coach Armstrong and I are up there and you know he he does he fired me from the writing the cards <laughs> Um, oh, Coach Purdue can can uh, attest to that. With I'm not a very good card drawer. He's kind of, but there's a lot of work that goes into the game plan and and a lot of study and a lot of film watching. And that's one thing I I I, I got to do better. Of, but I know that's one thing you've really taught me. I know um, one guy I know that has been really a, a motivation to us and kind of a mentor has been Mike Odom, who is the defensive coordinator at Poto. Yes, and um, we really we take a lot of his stuff and, and use it. For us, and we kind of we we've kind of adapted and um, evolved in our with our defense and that. So I I kind of want to talk a little bit of um, is there anyone who's been a mentor to you defensively that you would like to mention and talk a little bit about a couple yeah, of guys? Yeah, I mean, I mean, like you said, you mentioned Mike Odom, you know, DC over Poto, man. Uh, you know, I, I started as a young coach over there, and uh, he kind of took me under the wings, and, and so did Andy Purdue, right? And, and Coach Purdue done done a lot uh i still talk to those guys uh quite a bit uh they, they took me under the wing they showed me the ways of the jedi right and uh you know i soaked it in i i, I loved every minute of learning uh, they they taught me so much about the game you know mm -hmm. when i when i was a young coach i thought i knew a whole lot about mm -hmm. it and uh then i got into some got in there with guys that's uh got years of experience and i realized that i didn't know much about it as i thought but right. you know they they really slowed it down and, and showed me the ways of, of how to do stuff properly. Right. And, you know, it just kind of soaked in. And, you know, right. so I can I can thank Mike Odom and, and Andy Perdue for a lot of that stuff. Right. And, I, and I'm, I'm with you on the same boat with that. Those two guys have – coming from a guy who played offensive line his entire life who really didn't know much about defense other than what Coach Ford usually tells us is how hard can defensive be is tackle a guy at the football. Simple. But there's a lot more to it than that. And those yep. two guys have really been an instrument in my life and I know is your life – uh, both on and off the field of just how to how to do r good things and right things to make a good defense. Um, well, this week, Coach, I know, um, you know, still in district play, 1-0 in district are the Panama Razorbacks, and we're looking to go 2-0. Um, and, you know, we're playing against a Tallahina team who's, who's very young but very talented on top of that. Um, scouting them, kind of game planning for them. We know the quarterback is very, very dangerous, and they have some other athletes that we got to be aware of. Um, but I kind of want to uh, ask, uh, what are some of the keys to stopping this uh, stopping Tallahina this week as we uh, open up uh, our second game against Tallahina? Well, I, I think you you started out with talking about the the quarterback. He is a tremendous athlete. Uh, he's just a freshman, yeah. but. Uh, he plays on a, on a pretty high level. He uh, steps up in the pocket well. Uh, he will pull it and run. He's very athletic. Uh, he he likes number eleven as a receiver. Good receiver. Uh, offensive line. They're they're not bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can tell they're young, but but it's it's definitely a challenge for us. Absolutely. You know, we we've got to be disciplined with what we do. Uh, I think we've got some uh, some schemes that'll help that out to sl help slow that quarterback down, but. I think if uh, if we take care of the quarterback, I think we'll be fine for to pull this one out. Good. So to kind of wind things down, Coach, um, who 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 are some uh, key players on our team that you expect to have a big game defensively? I know you want to say all of them, but just just on top of your head, after after watching a week of practice, who are some players that we can we can watch out for to have a Man, big week? I think that uh, I think our D line could have a really big week this week. Uh, they're going to get some young offensive line mm -hmm. uh, with what they like to do. I think McKinney and Bledsoe mm -hmm. can have a, a really big week for us. Uh, I think our outside backers, you know, uh, I think Brewer and Diaz, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had to move him out Switching because right. of Ruben. Right. Uh, so I think the I think man our our front three can have a really big night for us. Mm -hmm. You know, we kind of 
uh, run nose guard by platoon at times, you know, yeah. it's with Jay and Blueford and switching them out. And, you know, Tristan, you know, he's doing yeah. us a good job. Absolutely. But I, I think that uh, – I think McKinney and Bledsoe, if they have a big night, we're going to have a uh, – it's going to be super successful for us. Good deal. Well, I know this, Coach. I know um, our defense is rolling. You've got you've got the defense rolling. We've got the defense rolling. Coach has been doing a really good job. Um, just just playing playing fundamental football, tackling, and, and it's hard to score on the Panama Razorbacks right now uh, offensively. And so um, – so I know I'm excited about the challenge. I know you're excited about the challenge this week. It's always exciting to go play a, a good team that can really challenge us and see what see what we can do. But coach, I appreciate your time. Thank you for for being here and, and talking about the defense. Look forward to visit with you a little bit more about uh, defense in the future. But uh, good luck this week, guys. Come support the Panama Razorbacks as they go look for win number two in district play at Tallahena at seven o'clock tomorrow night at Tallahena. Come watch us play. Come support these players. Come support these coaches. And uh, as always, go Razorbacks.